This calculator is better than all other calculators for GCSE Maths. In this video, I'm going to tell you what it is, where to buy it, why it's so much better than the one that you've currently got, how to spot a fake one, and why it's better than the newer version of itself. This is a video for parents and students, okay? I'm just gonna to talk to you as if you're a parent because you're probably the one that's gonna end up buying this calculator. But if you're a student, watch the video, then send it to your parents and say, please, please buy me this calculator because it is going to change my GCSE maths exam and it's gonna get me so many bonus marks for free. So let's jump into it. The calculator that you want is the Casio with the two blue buttons. The calculator that your child probably currently has is a Casio with two orange buttons. This is called the FX83 GT Plus. This one's called the FX85 GTX. Okay, it's really annoying. I didn't come up with a system. Don't blame me for it. Okay, it's the numbers that are important though. So let's look at so the 83. This one says an, it has an 83 on it, right? And this one has an 85 on it. So the only difference between these is that the 85 has a solar panel okay and the 83 doesn't but they're exactly the same calculator this one also is like an older model essentially blah 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 basically if you hit this button next to the on button and it looks like this this means you've got an old version of it which is still fine it still behaves exactly the same it's just it's a, it, this one's a little bit nicer because it's newer and if you hit this button here the one next to the on button this is what it looks like for a sort of for this newer version okay um, and this is important because this is essentially going to be the main difference between all the calculators is what happens when you press that button. So all of these calculators with the orange buttons, they all have four options. Now, it doesn't matter if it's written like this, written like text, or if it's kind of like these diagrams, okay, here, right? But the difference is that you've got four options for when you hit that menu button. But for, the, for, the, for this one, which I want to recommend that you get, when you hit menu, you get 12 different options. And this is the main difference between these two calculators. There are so many things that you can do on this calculator that you cannot do on this calculator. They can genuinely, genuinely get you five to ten extra marks on your GCSE math exam for free. So what is this calculator? This is called the FX991 EX. I've written that in the description. So far, so good. Here's the twist. You can't buy it anymore. Okay, it's discontinued. So what you're going to do is you're going to go online and you're going to search for this and you're going to get this one come up and they're going to say, do you want the new version? And this has got its own awful jumble of letters. This one's called the FX991CW. You do not want this calculator. This is the newer one, the shiny new one that, that, that they're trying to sell to you. But from my experience, from the hundreds of students that I've taught, they do not like this calculator. They much prefer this one. It's a completely different layout. It's not intuitive and they find it annoying. So this is the one that you want to get, but the problem is it's discontinued. So I'm going to show you at the end of this video exactly how to go and get it. But the first thing I want to talk about is how to spot a fake. The quickest way to spot if you have a genuine or a fake is turn it on. So hit the on button in the top right. Look at this little symbol in the top corner. OK, so here you've got a sort of a sun symbol. This is basically saying that the solar panel is working. Now, if you cover this up, you have to properly, properly cover it up. You'll notice that it goes away. Do you see it's go it goes away? See, it's actually quite difficult. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to cover it up. I just I think a tiny bit of my finger came out and it turns back on. So properly cover it up. You'll see it goes away. And that is just saying that the solar panel is real. OK, so that even there, it's quite oh, there. So it's quite difficult to get it to turn on and off. But you, you'll, you'll notice it if you put your finger on it. OK, on this one, there is no symbol in that corner because this is basically just a fake solar panel. It doesn't do anything. So you can see that there is a little like blank symbol there, but it doesn't do anything. It's not on and nothing happens if you put your finger over it. That's the quickest way to check. The other way to check is to make the calculator give you a QR code. Let me just quickly go through this. You press menu. You press shift. Then you press option okay and it will give you a qr code now if you do the same thing on the fake one you go menu you go shift and you go option it also gives you a qr code okay so they look exactly the same but if you then get your phone and scan the qr code let me show you the difference so this is the genuine one the genuine one should look like this it gives you a casio online manual okay if i now scan the other qr code OK, this one takes me here. So this is the fake one. The fake one takes you to this website called classpad.net. It might take you somewhere else if there's a different one. But this is probably what the fake one will look like when you actually scan that QR code. OK, all of this is to say that it's useful to know whether or not you have a genuine or a fake one. But some of the fakes are good enough that it doesn't actually matter. I want to talk to you now about the difference between a good fake and a bad fake. I know there's a lot of information here. Who knew there was so much to do with these calculators? But I promise you, it is so important to get this calculator. It genuinely will boost your 
upgrades in your GCSE by a huge amount if you know how to use it. So this is a fake one. I actually bought this off eBay for 10 quid because I wanted to find a fake which was so bad that I could show you what it looks like. However, this fake was actually really, really good. The quick way to tell whether it's a good or bad fake is to press this menu button, okay? Do you see that this looks exactly like it does on the genuine 991EX, okay, it looks exactly the same. When you have a bad fake and you press that button, it will look like it does on this old Casio. It'll look something like this, or it might just be all down in a row, like just text. So if it's just text like that, you've got a very bad fake, please get rid of that, it's really, really bad. Now look, I'm not advocating going on some black market and using fake calculators. I'm not going to recommend that you do that. But if you manage to get hold of a fake one and it behaves exactly the same as a real one, I'll leave it up to you whether or not you want to keep it or whether or not you want to report them and chuck it in the bin and go and try and find a new one. But it's really, really difficult to find a genuine one of these calculators. And you're probably not going to do it, okay? You're, it's unlikely you're going to find a genuine one of these unless you spend loads and loads of money or spend loads and loads of time trying to find it. And so I just am presenting this as an option for people that are short of money or time and just want to get a quick fix and just want to get their kids bonus grades in their GCSE maths. A really good fake of this will do the trick in an exam. So what is the actual difference between the 991 and the 83 or the 85? And just to make this nicer, should we call it the blue one and the orange one, okay? What is the actual difference between these two things, okay? There are calculator hacks that you can do on this calculator that you cannot do on this one. I'm just gonna show you a couple of them very quickly. Firstly, on the blue one, can you see above the eight, there's the word conv. On this one, there is not. That means you can do conversions on this calculator, but you can't do it on this one. Secondly, do you see on the blue one, there is this solve button and this red equal sign? This is a sneaky little hack for how to solve equations. You can solve equations on this calculator. You cannot do it on this one. Let's now go into the menu here. Okay, so when you hit menu, four of these options, remember, are on the orange one. But on this blue one, you have some really, really useful ones. One's called equation slash func. This is where you can do simultaneous equations. You can also do quadratic equations. You can factorize quadratics. You can do harder quadratic equations. It's unbelievable all of the different functions that you can do using that mode. If you go across on those inequality, this is how you can tackle quadratic inequalities massively massively important so essentially if you or your child has any difficulty with converting units solving equations simultaneous equations quadratics harder quadratics factorizing quadratics turning point there is this thing called completing the square there's this thing called quadratic inequalities that's nine things that i can think of just off the top of my head that you can do on this calculator that you can't do on this calculator imagine each of those was worth one mark to you right nine marks that's basically a whole grade boundary on a paper i mean it's unbelievable how much this stuff can genuinely make a difference so i really recommend you go and find this calculator there's one more thing i'm going to recommend which is if you really cannot find this calculator and you're just met with loads and loads of fakes there's one other option which you can do which is to have two calculators. You could use the current one that your child has, which might be the orange buttons or whatever they actually have, and you could buy the newer version of the blue buttons one. It's this one, remember, it's the 991CW. This has all of the functionality of this one, it's just it feels a little bit weirder. So what some students like to do, and you're allowed to take two calculators into the exam, is taking the one that they currently have and learn all the calculator hacks with that, and then for the extra bonus calculator hacks, buy this calculator, you can get it from Casio, Amazon, like most places will sell this calculator okay and you just need to learn how those specific functions work but you don't need to get used to using a whole new calculator for every single calculation so hopefully you now understand why this calculator is important now the question is how do you use it well if you want to learn how to get the maximum marks from your exam from using this calculator, come along to one of my free webinars. Every Sunday at 11 a.m. I run a free webinar focusing on exam technique and a massive part of that is calculator hacks. I show students how to actually go through a GCSE maths paper and how to use this to guarantee bonus marks for free on their paper. It gives students a massive boost in confidence knowing that they've got the answer right. It's really, really, really good for picking up on silly mistakes. It's so powerful, you've got to get it. Come along Sundays at 11 a.m. and I'll show you exactly how to use it. Just click the link below this video or in my bio or just head to mathmo.com, sign up for the free webinars and I'll see you on Sunday at 11 a.m. to show you how to get so many bonus marks for free 
on your GCSE maths. There's one annoying side note here, which is do double check that once you get the, cal the Casio with the blue buttons, that it has these numbers 991, okay? Do not get this one with the blue buttons, I know this is annoying, which is called the FX CG50, okay? This is an A-level calculator. This is not actually allowed in your GCSE. It's a graphing calculator. It's very expensive, so you're unlikely to make that mistake. But just to say, double check, once you've got the Casio with the blue buttons, that you do have the 991 EX. Never sounded so boring in my whole life talking about 991s and CG50s, okay? But it's important, so I have to say it, okay? So I've waffled on for long enough about this calculator and why it's so good. Let me now show you where to go and buy it. So I've just typed in Casio FX 991EX into Google and it's come up with all this kind of stuff. Now look, this is gonna look different for everybody depending on where you are and whenever you, whatever. The first thing I'd say is you want to look for an actual person selling it. So this one here, do you see this is, this looks th th 35 quid. Someone is selling it what's called a genuine Casio FX. This looks like it could be real, okay? I don't know, let's have a look on it. Let me just have a look. So this looks like a real person. Obviously, this person isn't going to exist anymore after, after this one. This looks like someone selling their old calculator. I would, re I reckon this is genuine. Okay, I would go for something like this. The other option is just to go to Facebook Marketplace. I went into Facebook Marketplace here and I just typed in calculator. Just put in calculator because most people selling these calculators don't really know or care what model they are. They just, they just stick calculator up or whatever. And do you see here? This is a genuine person near me who's selling, you know, selling this. It's very often that someone has just done their A levels or someone might have bought this calculator four, five, six years ago and they're getting rid of it and it was fine then. There's now this problem of loads of fakes or whatever. If you can find a real person selling this calculator, that's your best bet, whether it's Facebook Marketplace, eBay or whatever. If you go to eBay, you get a whole load of these things, which are obviously just companies selling all these things. All of these are gonna be fake, okay? These are all gonna be fake, but if you can find a trustworthy-ish one where they got good reviews or there's a good returns policy, I think that's the main thing. The thing I hear from a lot of parents is they, they will buy something and it won't arrive or they won't get a refund or something like that. So if something's looking dodgy or if it's being, if it's being shipped from abroad, don't bother going with that, it's gonna to take too long. I just need to ask you to use your judgment and look through these, okay? These, as I say, these all look fake, but they, it might not matter, you might be able to get a good fake. Don't go for this one. Again, this one doesn't have blue buttons, so you want to be looking for the one with blue buttons. All of these are probably all right. Look, this one from China, okay? It's just gonna take, firstly, that's definitely fake, but secondly, it's just gonna take too long, okay? It's gonna take too long to get there, so don't do that. Look for someone that's near you. The other option is to ask around. Ask some friends, anyone that you know whose kid has just finished GCSE or A-level maths. See if you can get a calculator from a real person, because otherwise, you'll go, you'll just click on any one of these random links, you know, just, just to give you a sense of it. This one's, these cheap ones are definitely going to be fake. There is an annoying sense that the higher the price, the more likely it is that it's genuine. So you see, this is £100, £99, rather than 13 You think, would you rather spend 13 or 99 Well, if you go for this one, there's probably a reason why it's 100 quid. I have heard of people spending this amount of money on this kind of, on, on, on this kind of calculator. I mean, again, I don't know what onbuy.com is. This is likely to be real just because it's so expensive, but it could even be a fake. I don't know. So I hope this has been useful to work out exactly where to buy it. I know it's annoying. I wish it wasn't this annoying. And this is going to look different for you. I just need to ask you to use your intuition. Go and have a look. Maybe you're going to have to buy a couple and you get a dud one and you send it back or whatever. But once you get this calculator, I promise you it is worthwhile. If you want more tips and tricks for how to boost your grades and confidence in GCSE Maths, subscribe to the channel. I don't just talk about calculators, I promise. There's more interesting things to talk about. But it's just get this right. Get the calculator that works for you. It's going to make a massive difference to your GCSE maths and then I can go and boost your grades and confidence in other areas of your GCSE maths. All right, that's it for now. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.